Indian Army Chief General Bipin Rawat has it out at Pakistan. He has said that peace talks with Pakistan can take place only when it stops supporting terrorists in Jammu and Kashmir. General Rawat further said that given Pakistan's actions, it does not appear that they really want peace. He was in the western sector close to the India-Pakistan border to attend an exercise being conducted by the Southern Command in the Thar Desert. Indian Army Chief's comment comes a day after the Ministry of External Affairs spokesperson Ravish Kumar said that India would like good relations with Pakistan provided they take actions against the terror groups. And joining us on the phone line for more on this story is Raghavendra Rao, our senior correspondent. Raghavendra, thank you very much for joining us. Tough words are coming from the top most army commander in India. Indeed, Daniele, and uh, the Indian Army Chief uh, General Bipin Rawat has uh, minced no words today in stating that uh, peace talks with Pakistan can take place only once Pakistan supports uh, uh, stops supporting terrorists in, uh, in in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. And he also said that uh, given Pakistan's track record so far, it is amply clear that uh, Pakistan does not really want peace. Now, uh, General Bipin Rawat uh, was in the western sector today, close to the India-Pakistan border. He was there to witness an exercise conducted by the Southern Command in the Thar Desert. Uh, this exercise is, is called Hamesha Vijay, which, which uh, translates into Always Victorious. And this was a desert exercise being conducted by the Indian Army there. Uh, General Bipin Rawat made these comments there, and he said that once Pakistan stops supporting terror groups, only then India should talk about having peace talks with that country. And he also made it clear that uh, just that India wanting uh, normalization of relations, uh, it, it cannot happen if Pakistan continues to support terror groups which are uh, creating and fomenting trouble in the state of Jammu and Kashmir. And uh, we uh, see also the statement coming, uh, Raghavendra, after a very tough and long resistance and rebellion and insurgency and terrorist insurgency in Kashmir. Uh, do you think that uh, there is the possibility of some sort of talks on Kashmir regarding the military control of the territory or is not in Pakistan's interest at all? Well, generally, the Indian Army has been fighting uh, a proxy war for decades in the in the Kashmir Valley, and the kind of uh, violence, the kind of trouble we have been witnessing in the Kashmir Valley, uh, you know, uh, it is only the Indian Army and the Indian Armed Forces who have been uh, at at the receiving end many a times, but they are also the ones who have been uh, fighting this battle to to protect the country's sovereignty, to protect the country's borders, as well as. Uh, you know, the civilian population, which uh, often at times is at the receiving end of such terror activities. Now, uh, you know, uh, the fact that Pakistan has been waging a proxy war against India, uh, it's, it's, it's an open secret of sorts. Uh, Cross-border terrorism has been a phenomena that has existed for many, many years now. And the fact that uh, of late, in the past eight to ten months, the Indian Army has been on a major offensive against these terror groups. Till date, this year, over 200 terrorists have been eliminated by the Indian Armed Forces, and which is a very high number compared to previous years. Also goes on to show the kind of numbers, the terrorists who have been infiltrating from across the border into Indian territory. And uh, General Rawat has only underlined the intent and, uh, you know, what, what a soldier would think and say in such a situation. They are fighting a battle on a daily basis in the Kashmir Valley, and uh, whenever there is, a, there is a mention of peace talks and all, for a soldier fighting on the ground, it really means nothing, because a soldier on the ground is fighting terrorists, militants, and uh, insurgents which are being sent from across the border, and that is happening on a constant basis, and it is not uh, abating at all. So, uh, you know, not surprising that General Rawat has chosen to use these words in saying that uh, no peace talks can really happen until Pakistan supports uh, any terror activity from its own soil. Thank you very much. Uh, this was our senior correspondent, Raghavendra Rao, helping us to decode uh, the words uh, of uh, India's uh, army chief, uh, Bipin Rawat, saying that uh, there is no possibility between India and Pakistan for peace until and unless Pakistan stops supporting terrorists.